Today we're working on an OEC 9800 and we are going to replace the on and off power switch. First thing we want to do is take this hood back cover off and there's two screws on the very top here. Now what you want to do is two latches on the bottom. So you just want to get a firm grip on this and pull it straight off. Next we want to unplug the light sensor, which is this one little plug here. And we're also going to want to take the x-ray illumination bulb off. It has a big screw down on the bottom. It has two connectors, a white and a black wire power and ground. These have to go back on the same way you took them off. So you have a little positive sign here, which is the white. Let's pull those wires through. Next, we want to take the keyboard finisher off, which is a series of screws underneath here. There's six of them all together. Again, this is just pushed in, so you want to pull it and pull it straight off like that. And you have the connectors. Now what you're going to have is two Phillips head screws on either side. You want to take them out. Sometimes there's also a screw right here in the middle. Now this monitor finisher has screws on both sides and across the top. All these have to come out. Okay, after you have all the screws out, you can pull this finisher forward just a little ways. You can use an extraction tool because you have to separate the harness from the switch itself comes right off. Now you can just pull this straight off. Okay, on the back side of this, we have a retaining ring that actually screws onto the switch itself. And you just grasp that and unscrew it. Sometimes this can be really tight, so you might need to use a pair of pliers. And your switch comes out. Okay, on the back side of the switch, you're going to have four wires. And you want to make sure that you put them back on the new switch the same way they came off. So either write down a ledger or something so you remember. Green, red, black, white. Now these can be really tight, so I usually get behind them with needle nose pliers and pull them off the connectors. Again, they have to go exactly on the way they came off. Your new switch is going to come together, so obviously this won't fit through the finisher hole. So we have to take this connection part off first. And make sure you plug the wires back in the way they came off. Okay, a new switch, the point always goes towards the top. Screw your retaining ring back on. Now you start by putting your finisher back on and you kind of have to reach in here and plug your back of your switch on reinstalling the x-ray illumination you want to make sure you put the white wire on the positive side which most of these are marked you just feed your wires up through here All right, you want to make sure that you replug your illumination sensor. The next, I'm going to put the hood back on. Again, you get these little connectors that line up on both sides. 
All right, the two screws in the top are going to be your longer screws, so they will reach. Once you get those screws in, you can move on to your keyboard. Got two connections here. this up and then push it back in and then you have your six screws under here put those back in and you're all set okay that's it for the OEC 9800 power on and off switch if you have any more questions or concerns please feel free to contact us at blockimaging.com